Hello everyone, welcome in Crochet Life and Stuff with Debra. I'm Debra and today is the Saturday vloggy thing. That's right, we're back to regular normal craziness instead of vlogtober craziness. <laughs> anyway, um, not a ton to show you today because I've been showing everything during vlogtober, but I do want to let you know that I had a couple of, you know, happy mails and hauls this week. Uh, there was a taste test thing where uh, snacks around the world. Um, I've had a look through on a couple of magazines in the last couple of weeks and one of them has a possible giveaway if you're interested. And coming up tomorrow, if you're watching this on Saturday, tomorrow Sunday will be the drawing for my 500 subscriber giveaway. So yay, if you haven't entered yet, please do so look for that video. Um, if I remember, I'll put it up here or up here or in the description or something. Um, yeah, it's been kind of crazy and busy. I finally got my Lion Brand order. I've <laughs> got my awesome Lisa Ladybird Loves merch right here. Yes, I ordered a project bag. And speaking of Lisa Ladybird Loves, the Pick and Mix Cal. Uh, this week, I haven't started this week's stitches yet. It's just been that kind of week. I um, have my main colors in here, which I did three rows of this time. Because while doing the baubles from the week before, I managed to gain a lot of stitches because apparently I'm a doofus and you know what I wasn't gonna frog it all out so I did some decreases along the way and got the stitch count back where it belonged so right there it's gonna poof up a little bit and I don't care because this is uh, to go on the back of my recliner and the colors will match what the recliner is it's brown you know it's very neutral and stuff so this will look really good with it no matter even if it's a little roughly in the, in the middle and I'll probably be pulling it down and wrapping it around myself when it's chilly because I get chilly when I watch TV in the winter time because we don't crank the heat up here. Of course I could just use it as a shawl, you know, <laughs> just saying I don't have a shawl in this color. But I have not relocated this to the Lisa Ladybird Loves project bag yet, but I'm going to do that probably later today. I'm actually on a break from work right now. So break from work, record the vloggy thing, go back to work. Perks of working from home, but yeah, and it is Saturday while I'm recording this, and yes, it is overtime. Go, go me. Okay, so that's in there. Something else that I have been working on, uh, Gary Urban Yarn is having a make-along, crochet or knit, or both, depending on what you do. I will link it one of these places up here and in the description. Um, it is to make his bush tracker beanie. Now, you can do the knit version if you do perform that magic. I do not. I don't know how to knit. And this is the start of the crochet version. Uh, he got permission from Crystal because Crystal made a sort of an inspired by the Bush Tracker Beanie version in crochet. And uh, yeah, I've got it started. And I am using that heat wave yarn that I picked up at Ollie's. This is the just the solid blue, which I think is so pretty. And this is the water park color which matches with it nicely and I'm doing the herringbone in that which is a brand new stitch for me to learn hello um that's been interesting because on the herringbone to do it in the round you have to turn your work you can't just go around so it's like wait what and it kind of messes with your head but I am working on that um I have to do a few I think a few more rows of herringbone and then I go into something else that I have to keep referring back to the tutorial because I just not one that I just know how to do so yeah that requires a little bit of quiet and uh me paying close attention but I am just digging these colors but I just think it'll be too too warm for me here um so I will probably end up sending this to someone who accepts donations and uh yeah Ashley from Just Another Stitch she does collect donations for a charitable organization and um they could probably use some winter stuff. So she may end up with this and a couple of other things. Also, for those of you new here, you don't know about the hubby blanket, okay? I just started crocheting this year, 2021. And one of the first things I started doing, because you know, why wouldn't I, right? Was trying to make a blanket for my hubby in colors that he likes. And he didn't want anything in an open stitch or anything. So, it's pretty much made in, 
uh, double crochet. It started off with double crochets, and then I figured out how to join them and link them. And then I figured out that I should actually be doing the extended join double crochet. So you can kind of look at my progress of crochet throughout the year as I've worked on this. And then, then there's single crochet in between. Let me show you. And I'm pretty sure there's, yeah, there's yarn attached to it right now because I didn't finish the row that I was on. But I do have a progress keeper somewhere. Oh, goodness. Yes. I know it's not a ton of progress. This is from the last time I showed you, and I'm up here, and I'm actually on the next row about halfway through. But the way I'm doing it is I've got uh, a light gray, single crochet in red, single crochet in black, the dark gray, and then single crochet in red, single crochet in black, and repeat. Repeat, repeat, repeat. It is getting pretty big. It's wide as it is because, hello, do 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 and more do 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 and let's see how tall is it well it goes about up to my waist so i can probably show you yes there's a lot of ends to weave in we'll all get over it you can see at the beginning they the rows are kind of a little bit more narrow not as nicely done but i've been learning a lot this year and the hubby says he loves it anyway um i will have a border on the outside probably in just some of the colors that are in here, like just around and around, just to kind of try to make it finish off and look a little better. But yeah, he didn't want anything like granny stitch. He didn't want anything with anything open. And these are a nice solid stitch with it still having some nice drape. So yeah, I've been working on this a little bit. I'm getting a little faster, which makes it a little easier to get some work done on it. A lot better than I was doing on it in February. <laughs> so it has taken me forever, but I've been doing a lot in between and I do work full time. So he has patience. He has the patience of a saint, especially to deal with me. I mean, come on, let's be real. Um, I know what I'm like. <laughs> I'm kind of crazy and I'm kind of out there. And he tells me that he's just thrilled to pieces that I have found a hobby that I enjoy. And actually, more importantly with that, I found a community I enjoy. You guys are awesome. Not just the folks who are subscribed to me, and I do appreciate that you subscribe and that you watch my videos, uh, but out there in the YouTube world, there's just a lot of nice people in the crochet community, and I totally dig it. I've really gotten into it, and I have fun. And I hope that you have fun with it too. This is a really great community to be a part of, and uh, I'm looking around at the mess that's in my room right now. I've got my, my spider blanket on the bed, actually. I have a king size bed in here, but uh, it doesn't cover it completely. But the blanket that I keep on the bed anyway is a purple that matches one of the purples that's in the blanket. So it kind of, it looks like it belongs there. And of course it does belong there because I put it there. What do you think about that? <laughs> Please check the description down below because you will find some interesting information if you'd like to swap postcards with me. Um, the information on how to do that is down there, as well as links to a lot of other things. Playlists. I've got playlists for everything. You never know what you're going to find on this Crazy Girls channel. I'm just saying. I do thank you for coming by, though. I appreciate it. I'd love it if you left me a comment. I am not uh, Johnny on the spot on my comments right away uh, with answering and hearting them and stuff because I do work full time. In the evenings, I check it and try to go through it. And thank you, Verna, for alerting me to the weird troller that we had on some of my posts. That was a weird one. I don't know what that one wanted. They're removed. They're blocked. It was just odd. Yeah, if you saw those, you know what I mean. If you if you get any weird replies to your comments that just like, eh, that's kind of sketchy, let me know or just ignore it because I will take care of it. It just may take me a day or two to get to it, okay? Thank you, Verna. I appreciate it. Mwah. I don't know where my Oscar kitty has gone. He was in here a minute ago. I guess he got tired of me just talking and not picking him up, but you saw him in the thumbnail because he was being very, very snuggly. Um... Yeah, he'll be on here some more soon. You know he will. <laughs> Thank y'all so much, and I will see you very soon. Bye now.